And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We finally got everything set and situated on our side. And we are starting off. I predicted it. I knew it was going to be one of the two. And it is Skid Row on Hardpoint as we get things started off. I am joined by OG Buns. Buns, how you feeling? And how excited are you now that we are finally in this matchup? Feeling great. Ready to see some exciting Call of Duty here. We are on board right now with Factions, who's going to be hopping immediately into this point. Trying to find one, able to find one onto CSZJ with the help of Rare on another player. You do see West Point, they do have control of that pizza rotation early on. They did have those preferred spawns, but St. Clair is fighting for that P1, looking to soak up as much time as they can as Rare. Already starting out the gate, swinging with a big three kills to her name, looking to continue that streak. Oh, yeah, you love starting off with a 3 0 as factions locks down the hill. We like to see solid hill kitten performances in and around the map. Sadly, we do not get those hill times, but that's just one of the slight errors. The playroom here, holding in the tunnel, looking for some shots, trying to find something as West Point has locked down this P2. We'll see if they can hold on as St. Clair was able to get a solid chunk of that P1. Things are underway exceptionally well for St. Clair, but it's going to be tough to break this West Point team. And so far, so good on this P2 for West Point. They are soaking up as much time as they can right now. A bit of a split push coming in from St. Clair, though. You see Siri already able to get down on the bottom. Not a call out in sight, but finally, Bam Bam able to find one. Snaps on the factions as well. Nice kills coming in from West Point to hold on to this P2. As he finds a third, hopping in... From the window, CS with a nice kill on the series. Well, I think Siri may have tried to pick up a frag grenade, just wasn't able to get it out in time. West Point now taking the lead on a very solid hold on P2. St. Clair is trying to work over towards that P3 rotation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure West Point got the entirety of this P2. Don't know if St. Clair was able to contest at all. That is a big money hill for them as they are able to take the lead. We see the rotation going in favor of St. Clair as they lock down the alleyways, trying to look like the Batman's factions taking out playroom as Rare and company hold down. Lebs and CS trying to hold Siri. Popping him with the headshot as Rare picks up CS Lebs. Able to get the trade though as Pieces holds alone. Now getting contested from the playroom. Pushing in on the outside. Lebs getting some shots peppered in on him. And Pieces is able to stay alive. Getting a piece of their own on the one streak. It's only their second kill of the matchup. But at the end of the day, KD don't matter. It matters. The points are on the board. And St. Clair is able to retake the lead. In fact, it was a nice kill there on that player pushing over towards P3. You see West Point already with an early rotation. P4 can be one of those money hills if you can hold on. Three, though. Nice kill on the play. Trading back and forth. We go here on this rotation. Rare. Back apartments trying to find a few players here. Able to take out CS. And the push is in from St. Clair. They're able to break into that rotation. One more player going to be close. It's going to be Les, but he gets taken out as well. And St. Clair... Able to break right in. It was West Point's early rotation. Didn't work in their favor for a little bit. But you see, St. Clair still trying to hold on. Back and forth trades again. Pieces trading himself with a nade. Rare going to have a tough task ahead of her. She's able to find one. Has some help from Siri as well. And St. Clair, they are holding on. Yeah, a very, very valiant effort from the St. Clair College squad in the barbershop. Making sure they bring fresh cuts and fresh shots throughout. Siri holding on that half wall, then just bobbing and weaving around trying to find any of these West Point players who I think have begun that rotation to P5, which is going to be pivotal. They're able to pick up some of the scrap on this P4 as well. Factions gets there, but quickly gets taken out. This P5 is another one of those big money hills like P2. Easily defensible, hard to take. We saw West Point get all of that P2 so, so long ago, it seems. But it's St. Clair now on this P5 and looking to take a massive lead if they can lock it down. Bam, bam, taking some shots. And that's a three-piece for West Point. It's all up to Siri. Holden on the outside of point, eating the stun, gets a nade out there. Pieces rotating in and able to come to the aid of Siri, who gets rotated on, but it's not enough. Siri on the five streak looking for that cruise missile and going to secure it. No, ran out of ammo and just barely survived with 30 HP, but the nade lands right in front of them. Almost cinematic. That was picturesque from West Point. Oh, what a throw, Buns. What a throw. 
Yeah, West Point with a nice nade there. Siri had that trophy in the back pocket for quite a bit, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Do it a little too late, so that trophy ain't gonna work at all pieces. Had a bit of a slow start, 1 and 5. Now 10 and 11 on a 3 kill streak, looking very solid. And we have this rotation over towards P1 as St. Clair was able to clear up the rest of that P5 scrap time. Pieces now on a 4 kill streak. Finally starting to go even here. Rare has one more deal with that old. I don't think she was aware of that player sneaking by. It's West Point as well on the point. Able to hop in. Starting to soak up some time here uh, just a little bit. But Factions flies right through. Pieces as well. Now on a six kill streak, secures our Cruzma. So I don't know if they fixed Cruzes yet. So it might just be there for the views. But still, six kill streak. Nothing to shy away from his faction. Still alive on this point. Snaps with the pistol. And St. Clair with almost a 100-point lead now heading into that P2. Once again, West Point. I mean, they held that P2 earlier. But if they want to start mounting and come back here, they're going to have to hold it once again. St. Clair, though, right on their heels trying to push out towards new. St. Clair able to take a 110-point lead. 115, excuse me, as they crack into the 200 mark. Lock down that P1 and P5. Something fierce as uh, they just start to run away with it. West Point now, they were able to lock in on P2, the first rotation around. But it's a four-piece for Siri and Pieces as they want not just a piece, but the whole darn pie as they start to walk away. No sprint away from this one. West Point has been playing catch-up for a majority of this matchup, but uh, sadly they will not find any at their table for the evening. Factions and company are locked in in the latter half of this matchup. A two-streaker higher for the entire, now a three-streaker higher for all of St. Clair. And my goodness, that's some heavenly intervention as Factions finally goes down. But a three-streaker higher for all four of your players is absolutely insane. Siri, Rare, and company just racking them up like they are bowling pins at the alley and they're getting strikes non-stop they are getting the turkey and that is the game ladies and gentlemen 250 to 85. wow <laughs> just what a blowout there from st Clair at the end you saw Dominant. them you know hold that p5 get the rotation over towards p1 it was pretty mixy there for a little bit but a lot of the gunfights won by st Clair. you saw the early rotation come in once again from west point towards that p2 rotation but again st Clair with nice breaks able to just find four dead and from there it was all but over everybody from st Clair positive on the other side of west point six and eight not something you want to see nice job from st Clair.
Yeah. We have arrived at round two. St. Clair came out of the gate with just absolute dominance on their mind as they took it 250 to 85 against this West Point gold team. We'll see if West Point can bounce back on the high rise for a little search and destroy. I am joined by none other than OG Buns in the booth as Pieces strikes first with a beautiful headshot on the high rise. Pieces with a two piece. Buns, how you feeling? Feeling good, especially seeing Pieces piece the way he is. Doing no start from him. St. Clair looking to continue this hot streak that they've had pretty much throughout the entirety of the CCO. Yeah, as Pieces finds three. And St. Clair take round number one. Did Pieces get the ace there? He I didn't. thought I saw... Oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not going crazy. Now this is Factions. Factions for the final kill. As CS goes down in the underground of this high-rise lurking in the various plumbing and tubery down below. As we get ready for round two, high rise, just just such an iconic Call of Duty map in Search and Destroy, of course, is a just a cornerstone of Call of Duty as an entirety. Pieces with that three piece, like you said, Buns, a phenomenal start for the St. Clair College team as they continue their dominant streak thus far. Lebs rotating to the far left as Pieces tries to add to their streak. So here's a bomb carrier, a bit of a slower start for St. Clair. We'll see who will strike first in this round two as Bam Bam looking for a bit of a flank. Siri though, picking up that first blood on Lebs. Bam Bam going for this long rotation, might get picked up from the helicopter pad, but Bam Bam not able to find anybody as Pieces continues to climb higher, but Bam Bam taking him down. It's a 2v3, now a 2v2. Bam Bam almost going nuclear, but Siri cooling them down real quick as CS is in a two or 1v2 situation, Buns. In one two situation, it looked like he was trying to pick up the AR there, unfortunately not able to do so. He has to be flying into the elevator now, but Siri ready and waiting. St. Clair going up 2-0 there. I mean, Bam Bam had a nice little flank for the side of West Point, but I don't know if he was just blind or uh, was triggered to the spin, whatever the case may be. <laughs> he saw a rare top helicopter throughout the entirety of that flank, decided not to shoot. Still able to get two, though. Not too bad, but yeah. St. Clair on top of 2-0 in the search. Just might have been a little tunnel vision. I've definitely been in those situations where you're so focused on one particular aspect of a map or one particular player you're trying to track down or get your eyes on that you just don't realize there's someone directly in your line of sight just blending into the map perhaps, just not seeing them too effectively. Either way, we're round number three underway. St. Clair with a 2-0 advantage from West Point. I definitely do not want to find myself down 3-0 as pieces continuing to piece up this West Point Gold team on a 5-1 start. Rare hasn't even gotten a kill yet, but hasn't gone down yet either, so Rare just able to sit back and let their players do the work. Pieces rotating up. Gotta be careful on this helipad. They are all alone up there. Rare in the rear trying to protect on propane. Doesn't realize Bam Bam's right underneath him. Pieces though, trying to find somebody. Bam Bam deep into St. Clair spawn. Factions getting peppered, but Bam Bam can't find the kill. Now find themselves in a bit of a jam. Bam Bam, got to be careful here as Pieces turns to look at their own spawn. Playroom holding in the tunnel with Lebs as they try to find a way to get over. Bam Bam, the bomb carrier rotating the spawn might not have been the strat. Pieces rotating in. There's one. There's two. Pieces piecing them up on the three streak and now has a chance for an ace, if I'm not mistaken. And Pieces! Absolutely, absolutely frying in that round. I'm sure Reese would be proud of Peace's performance, wouldn't you say, Buns? I definitely agree with you. You're making me hungry, my diabetic my diabetic <laughs> shock. <laughs> Going into full effect there as Pieces. <laughs> Popping four. Woo! I like how many I pop at a time when I pop them Reese's Pieces. I'm not going to lie. Those <laughs> things are amazing. Eight and one start, though. On a four kill streak, St. Clair. Looking very dominant here. A lot of a lot of weird timings going on in that round again. Oh, but yeah. the fact that St. Clair able to pull it away once again, you know, shout out pieces going crazy. Heading into this offensive round, St. Clair. I'm gonna play another default over towards A. A little bit slower approach coming in. I think Bam Bam's hitting that outer route once again. See well, if St. Clair will be able to read that. I just realized that pieces has the same amount of kills as the rest of the lobby combined. Until that kill just there, 
Pieces had the same amount of kills as the entire lobby combined. Absolutely insane. Pieces still popping off on the five streak. Playroom and CS trying to stay alive in this 2v2. Grab their first round pieces on the propane. Got to stay alive here. In a bit of an exposed position. Gets rotated on by CS, but is able to make an incredible dolphin dive. Parkour maneuver through the mid. And Factions able to catch him on the reload. That is Call of Duty timing at its finest. The Playroom gets played at St. Clair College. Climbs to a 4-0 start behind pieces. Absolutely carrying this team at 10-1 mcw in hand the playroom unfortunately is not open during these hours ladies and gentlemen you're gonna need to adult an adult to supervise you during those hours as we get things underway for round five absolutely insane as i double check my math yes west point gold and st Clair now combined to have more kills than pieces but it is incredibly close the sixth streak has come through. There is a cruise missile in play. We'll see how St. Clair fares in round five, Buns. Yeah, I mean, West Point, they have to get something going here. It's got to be a must-win round for them as they're on offense once again. Playroom nursing that egg, unfortunately. He gets spotted by Factions. Factions able to find a big first blood. Pieces once again. Finding another kill in the round. Last alive is going to be Lebs, who's able to find one on the Siri. So really tough position. Does get spotted on the street, oh. and the trades are in. St. Clair up 5-0 to zero here in this search and destroy. Pieces has yet to stop this rampage he's on. Rare finds a kill. Yeah, Rare able to pick up their first kill. Pivotal one, even though it may have been a 3v1. You don't have to worry about a player rotating around or going all super spy on you, lurking around the map. They're able to secure that kill and shut it all down as Pieces gets a 7 streak. We've been talking a lot about Pieces, ladies and gentlemen, but as you can tell by the KD, Pieces has been doing most of the gameplay throughout this matchup. As we see St. Clair on match point, a 5-0 start and looking for a 6-0 finish. Siri spotting him up top. Bam, bam. Gets the first blood. Piece is finally going down, but Rare and Siri picking up the slack, and it's already a 3v2 in favor of St. Clair. West Point all over Bravo. Shots coming in from Lebs, and a beautiful long shot on Rare. And now a 2v2, a much more manageable situation for this West Point gold team, and might be the round they are looking for to turn all of this around as Siri and Factions begin their rotation back towards their spawn. Factions picks up Lebs, spots CS, who cannot get the trade on factions and now a very tough 1v2 for cs the pressure is on ladies and gentlemen but pressure creates diamonds we'll see if cs can shine here yes yes oh that's gonna be absolute worst timing there oh. at the end st Clair with the 6-0 sweep in search and destroy and i'm sorry to say it but the playroom Owen oh, Six, welcome to the agency. We've been expecting you. Unfortunate situation from him. You hate to see goose eggs on the map, especially in a game mode like Search and Destroy. But nonetheless, St. Clair up 2 0 in the series with a dominant SD performance. Yeah, there's no other word to say to. to to put on this matchup that is an a plus plus performance from pieces the rest of st Clair college performed admirably rare had a bit of a tough game but really didn't need to do a whole lot with how exceptionally well pieces played i, I mean to go what was it 11 and 2 with an ace mixed up in there and unfortunately for west point gold to have the playroom go 0 for 6 doesn't help the situation either but to get a 6-0 after a 250-85 hard point, I am curious to see how this West Point Gold squad bounces back in control. What do they got to do to stay alive in this series, Buns? I mean, first and foremost, they got to start shooting back. They looked okay at the beginning of the hard point. And, I mean, anybody looks okay at the beginning of a map. But when you <laughs> see St. Clair start to roll the way that they did and then just leading it into the search and destroy pieces, absolutely monstrous performance from him if you're seeing some more of the same from them you got to find some way to match the pace of st Clair. controls one of those game modes where you know teamwork's really important so if you have the teamwork on west point you need to use it to your advantage you need to be able to you know find at least a few kills even if you're not slaying on offense just find a way to get to that objective and mm -hmm. uh, make st Clair pay 
Yeah, I'd have to agree. We're getting Karachi Control loaded up next. A very, very classic uh, Call of Duty map that uh, features a lot of verticality, especially on that alpha point. So I'm expecting that A point to go relatively quickly. Again, the Bravo point for most control matchups is the, the stickler, the one that uh, can be quite difficult. Although now that I'm thinking about an invasion, it's the alpha side. But there's always one objective that is just incredibly difficult to break on for most matchups, and that is going to be uh, that Bravo point in the cafe making that long rotation after securing Alpha, that's going to be the toughest part, and I think that's where West Point Gold needs to capitalize. Try to secure that Bravo point first and then go for Alpha. I think with that strategy, they might be able to come out with a W on this one, but this St. Clair team has looked unstoppable. Absolutely right. unstoppable. I definitely agree with you there. And West Point, I feel like I feel like Karachi is one of those maps where you can be a lot, uh, a lot more ratty around the map, so to speak. You know, just play your corners, be annoying. And um, that's probably going to be your best bet going against the St. Clair roster, just trying to play slow and let them come to you, make them force gunfights and engagements. But, I mean, St. Clair, they've looked solid. They looked solid in the hard point. They are definitely a very strong, cohesive unit. And I feel like this could possibly end in a 3-0. Mm -hmm. um, unless we have point and just has some... Crazy showing in control, but of course, any anything can happen. It's Call of Duty. Um, the game changes every day. The play styles change every day. People. Any are... given Tuesday is how yeah. it goes. I think at least that's what I last heard. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back. But we have a very pivotal round three coming up, so don't you dare go anywhere. Buns and I will be with you for every step of the way. So if you abandon us, I'll know about it, and I will cry, cry big sloppy tears, and you don't want that. We'll see you soon, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for an hopefully interesting round three control between West Point Gold and St. Clair College. St. Clair has been, as we've said numerous times tonight, dominant throughout this series, both in hard point and search and destroy. We come now to control. I am joined by the absolutely blissful, brilliant, and benevolent buns in the booth buns how you feeling who do you got taking this matchup of st Clair's off to a phenomenal start behind factions two piece over on that bravo objective i mean i'm gonna have to give the st Clair regardless i think they've been looking very good so far in this series and they are continuing to put the pressure on two west point gold lebs though able to bounce back with a nice two kills there to start it off cs and play both going down there cs twice getting in a little bit of a trap not something you like to see either, but you see west point already on that b objective factions four kills to his name the only one finding kill so far siri actually able to take out the play as i'm talking but five and one start from factions looking to find a few more here as cs was able to sneak by in that back hop up on the other side though st Clair all business from their end wiping players from West Point. CS just going to have to play his life. Finally able to do so and stop that time, but the rest of his teammates, they have to cross over towards that B point. Yeah, I think West Point heard me through the ether and decided to take that Bravo objective first. They wanted to get the harder of the two out of the way. Fury rotating in. Doesn't see him up top and is able to avoid the shots. Quick trades happening in around. CS is able to stay alive, but Faction have themselves an incredible start as they combine for a 6-2, but Pieces with a 4-0 picks up another two piece of their own as they lock down Bravo. 15 seconds left on the clock. It is not looking good for West Point. This is their last big push. Faction's picking up one. Pieces holding. Doesn't see him rotate, but is able to pick him up and spots one on the sixth playroom able to get in there looking to play some games but pieces ain't having none of it getting up close to personal with the pistol and taking them down that's gonna do it unless let's can somehow dolphin dive in pieces going down 2.2 on the clock bam bam gets on alpha as well so a bit of a hold off but it only delayed the inevitable st Clair only going down nine times that first round not looking good thus far for west point bonds yeah, with this point only having, I think, nine, maybe even eight lives remaining there. So far, so good for St. Clair to close this one out in a 3-0 fashion. You see Rare getting that final kill. At the end, Factions with a nice start to that control. Eight and three from him. Pieces as well, six and one on the other side to play. Bam Bam both holding the breadstick right now. CS and Lev's making a little bit of plays at B. They did hear you. They tried to get that B point first. I do think they were able to at least secure one tick. A little bit of a silver lining for West Point, but not a big one. As you see St. Clair. Towards bottom red. They're getting aggressive on this B point as well. Peace is able to find a big first blood CS from back ticket. It does get stunned out. Able to find a kill anyways, though. Has it up. At least delays the push from St. Clair for now. Bam Bam gets taken out, though. Rare snaps on the CS into playroom. The last player standing for West Point right now. Gonna be contesting on his B point rare. Trying to chill him out with the pistol. But still, so far so good for St. Clair. They have control of this B point for now. Trying to hold off as long as they can. Rare still alive on this point though. Able to find one. The trades are in. St. Clair still holding on. Stopping this time. Trying to secure a ticket progression at B and looking good. Looking in a room. Incredibly good. Siri here holding on this head glitch. Trophy systems are already down. Popping out the door. Siri in pieces and popping off as it is all red in the kill feed. Siri on the forest streak. No, you do not have to ask how big the earth is. Siri doesn't have time to answer your questions, ladies and gentlemen. Siri playing Call of Duty right now. Factions with the split push over on Alpha as pieces. Double stacks on Bravo. Bravo secured. Factions able to secure one tick of progress. Looking for two as they hold the line. Five streaks for pieces in Siri, looking for some cruise missiles as well. And my goodness, an incredibly effective round from St. Clair as they only go down six times the entire round, Buns. Absolutely insane. 2 0. -oh. I mean, I hate to say it, and I usually don't say this, but I think we can chalk this up to a St. Clair W. Never underestimate your opponent. If you're St. Clair, you're still locked in. You're still playing the way you've been playing. But here up in the booth, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen this time and time again. It is exceedingly rare to reverse sweep at this point, but never, never 
discount your enemy or try to think that they're out of the fight. We'll see if West Point has anything left in the tank in this round three of control buns, but it is not looking good. And yeah, not looking good at all. St. Clair, I mean, with a beautiful rotation from B at the end of that offense, straight over towards A, gets that cap very handedly. This time around, West Point able to find the first blood. They stopped the point at A to play, getting progression over towards that A site. And bam, able to find one, has another deal within secret, rare, and pieces. Taking up those final few kills. Lebs though still alive over towards this top third area. CS trying to fly into the point. CS able to hop in once again, stopping that time. Just delaying that defense from St. Clair, trying to get as much as much progression as they possibly get. They have to win the round. They're already down O. Oh, two here in this control but a second tier progression comes in for west point looking good the three stack is in they're gonna give themselves an extra minute of time to work over towards b and only lost four lives so far rare though trying to play sport air fire bam bam able to snap so west point i mean again they're not out of it yet it's not over to a fat lady sings and she ain't singing no no not yet west point able to secure alpha able to get another minute on the clock they lead in lies but Rare with a big two-piece, bam, shutting it down, but quickly getting traded out, and St. Clair once again starting to cook in and around this objective. They are not necessarily on Bravo, but are set up incredibly well defense-wise, pushed up aggressively towards this West Point College spawn. CS trying to rotate through the hotel. Siri going down, CS trying to break through. CS with a big two-piece, and now giving their team some breathing room. You see that St. Clair team has to rotate a little further back. It's a slow, methodical push. Still plenty of time left on the clock. You just got to be safe, be smart, be calculated, be clean, precise, and nice in your shots. CS was on the three streak, but they get shut down as it's Siri and Peace is popping off once again. Peace is now rotating up to that third floor on that HVAC unit. Bam Bam looking for some shots. The playroom coming in with the assist as well. But shots from on high. Looking for the three piece. Peace is absolutely frying with Siri, Siri coming in for the assist. St. Clair gonna shut down that attack real quick. And there is the white faction setting up beautifully in the junkyard. Headshots of plenty as they're just lining them up and factions knocking them down. Bam Bam on the rotation. 16 to nine in lives. West Point was keeping it close, but St. Clair locks in. Not letting them gain any significant momentum after that alpha capture. And I think we can chalk this up to the St. Clair W that we were talking about earlier, Buns. Yeah, I mean, West Point, they started to wake up just a little bit in this round. But again, having to be the aggressors onto this B point, it's Woo! so hard to do. Faction sliding with the pistol gets taken out there. Pieces as well. 19-4 and four from him. He I think it's taken out there, 19 and 5, but Rare going to be the last one to hold on to this point. If she's able to find two, last live is going to be Leds sitting in the back closet. He's getting dove at, has so much to deal with. Rare punches him out at the end, and St. Clair Academy with the 3-0 sweep versus Web Point Gold. A solid, a solid control matchup rare for the final kill getting up close and personal just poking them with the barrel of their renetti and you hate to see it if you are west point gold as they will fall to three and three st Clair rising to six and one 18 non-traded kills for pieces who finishes 19 and five a near 4.0 okd buns absolutely insane truly an incredible performance from the st Clair team as they 3-0 sweep West Point out of here. Just a dominant performance. Pieces went 10-1 with the ace in that search and destroy as well. And then to drop a near 4.0 KD in control is just impressive. Doing it back to back, being that hard carry. Pieces gave us more than just a piece. They gave us the whole pie, the whole bakery after those that search and destroy and that control buns. Yeah, I mean, Pieces was popping off at the end i mean the fact that he was 18 and 3 before i guess the last 30 seconds of that round number three very solid stuff from st Clair. i just got word that rare is trying to see if the other team is ready we might actually get an earlier matchup here so don't go anywhere we'll be right mm -hmm. back for hopefully a faster matchup time
But yeah. you know, no promises. Either way, we'll get it figured out. Guys, mm -hmm. stay tuned for some more action.